Hey guys, it is Nick here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own MTA server so you can play online with your friends, or you can professionally make it a server as long as you constantly keep it running. Now, what the server will look like when you run it is it will look like a little CMD window like this, and as you can see, it'll show your IP address and what port you're running it on. Now, a lot of people will try to start a, a server from inside MTA, which doesn't really work well unless you know what you're doing. And you already have to have the configuration thing set up, which doesn't work very well. Now, um, what you're going to have to do first is find your IP address. So you're going to open up CMD, and if you don't know how to do that, then just press and hold the Windows key and press R, type in CMD, hit enter, and the CMD window will pop up. And I'll just type in IP config just like I P C O N F I G and hit enter. That'll show you all that you need to know in order to do what you need to do. Now you're going to want to look under your default gateway and you want to type that in. So um, your default gateway is probably the same as mine, so I'm not too worried about showing you all my IP address stuff because that also means you can connect to my server. So you're going to type that in right here. So 192.168.1.1 and it'll bring you this page. And um, usually it'll ask you if you want to sign in. Now you have to have your um, your routers information to do this so so this will let you um, configure anything that you need to configure now um, down here uh, for most of you um, I would I would think that most of you would have a uh, link sys but if you don't you can look up what uh, router you have and how to do this setup but it should be pretty similar now you want to look down for your network setup and there will be a network address server settings or DHCP and you want to look under these settings and make sure your DHCP server is enabled and your starter IP address should be listed and should be some number now under maximum number of DHCP users you want to set it to something pretty high because um, usually when a server can or when a computer or device connects to your Wi-Fi it will create them a, a random IP address now um, mine usually starts at 100 and before used to go up to just 100 and I think 150 and that's not enough that we have a lot of devices in our houses so um, but it for some reason 100 or yeah 150 wouldn't work for me it was I think it was um, over our, our uh, it's hard to explain it, it it doesn't really matter as long as you're over whatever device amount that you have in your household I know we'll never have a um, 45 devices in our house so I set mine to 45 because our starts at 145 so the one doesn't really matter now um, I set mine all the way up to 100 in case I need to go above but this seems to work because ours only goes up to like uh, I would say if someone were to log into our network randomly um, their IP address would probably be set somewhere like in 110 so 145 is safe for me. Now, um, once you have that enabled, click over to access restrict or no applications and gaming. If you have anything like this, or it'll say port range forward, and um, this is where you're going to be port forwarding things. Under applications, just put MTA, uh, whatever you need, and then you want to set up your ports. Now, uh, for the ports, you're just going to, um, unless you're going to be editing with anybody, you just want to put uh, 22126 to 22126 and set it up as a UDP, and then you put your IP address. Now, um, before you do this part, you'll probably want to, um, because you just did this setup part where it enables you to have a lot of uh, users in your network you'll probably want to set a static a static IP now to do this you're going to want to um, if you can go to this network and sharing center if you can't you can go there just by accessing your control panel network and internet 
Network Sharing Center, and then just click on Change Adapter Settings. Now once you're in your adapter settings, you'll want to click on Wireless Network Connection, which will, um, it'll be the one that you're connected to, my Wi-Fi. Right click on it, click Properties, and look for your Internet Protocol version 4, or your IPv4 address. Click on Properties, and this little menu will show up. It'll say, yours should be checked on obtain an IP address automatically and obtain a DNS server automatically. This means that a random IP address will be selected whenever you log into the network or you restart your router or you refresh your um, Wi-Fi or renew your lease. And you usually renew your lease about once a day. So this is terrible if you're going to be hosting servers. So what you want to do is click on use the following IP address. Now that you've set your range limit, um, hopefully if you did, if you set your range limit to about 100, you want to go pretty close to there. I only did up to uh, 45, but that's good enough for me because I'm, I know I'm not going to have 45 devices in my house. So you just type in those first four that should stay the same. You have to keep those first four. Um, Whatever is in here, under your IPv4 address, whatever is right here, has to stay the same, but these last digits, um, the three last digits, they have to be within this. They have to be within um, 100 to 200 uh, for me. So I did 145. Now for the subnet mask, um, once you click it, it'll basically fill itself in. If it doesn't, it's just 255, 255, 2550. And your default gateway is that. Um, it's 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 what it said right here the default gateway it's same and make sure when you're checking all this that you're looking under your LAN adapter your wireless network connection otherwise um you're not going to be setting up the right things if you're like looking at your ethernet or your hamachi you're you're going to be doing the completely wrong things so um make sure your default gateway is the same which is the thing that you logged into your servers with and um, your DNS server is the same as your default gateway. Um, now, if I were you, I'd click Validate Settings upon Exit if this is your first time doing this, which means it'll do the, di the diagnosing thing, and if it doesn't find anything, then you'll probably still be able to use your network. But um, if you don't check it and you click OK, um, this will show up. Warning, multiple gateways are intended to provide redundancy. And... Um, that means basically if there's a problem with your internet they can't just give you a new IP address which isn't really a problem because if something does go wrong just click on it click properties and just click this again click OK and you'll be able to use your internet again um, which means that you have to change your IP address so you'd have to start all over but um just to make sure once you set up your IP address just search up something random uh, just go to Google make sure that works and once that works, you can go to the next thing. Now, once you make sure that your internet connection still works, you want to click on applications and gaming. And now you can do these ports. So set up this first port that I told you, the 22126 to 22126. Uh, basically, the start and end ones are going to be the same exact. The start is going to be the same exact as the end and vice versa. So the MTA... The first one is 22126 with a UDP, and then you want to type in the IP address that you just set up, and mine is 145 at the end, so you just put 145. Um, the next port is 22003, which is what the users connect to. That's also UDP, and you just put in your IP address, click Enable. And the last one, unless you're doing editing, is 22005 which is a TCP, and you type in your IP address again and enable it. This will let users download maps and stuff if you have any extra ones. And the last, the very last one, which is optional, but um, you should only put it in if you're going to be um, doing this where you go start editor, which is where um, people will be able to um, edit your games with you. This is only, I would recommend this only if you're playing with... Um, trusted users like your friends like don't do that if you're playing with random people otherwise they'll probably mess your server up so this one is 22011 which is also a TCP 
just type in your IP address and uh, click enable and click save settings now once these settings are saved um, you want to go to your MTA file where you actually installed it so program files Rockstar Games where is it? Rockstar Games Grand Theft Auto San Andreas actually no <laughs> where am I going you don't want to go to the um, the Grand Theft Auto one you want to go to the MTA so multi theft auto which is where is it MTA San Andreas 1.3 okay open that up and there will be a little folder called server double click on that um, and this is this is how you start it. You double click on the .exe here, but before you start it, you have to go into mods, deathmatch, and right click on MTA server. Now once it opens up, you want to click um, edit. If you have Notepad plus plus, which is very useful for all of this. Now once it does go into edit, click on language and click XML, so it's easier to read. And you want to look for all the blue parts. Once you see all the blue parts like this, like server name, server IP, and server port, that'll be really useful. If it's just black and white, it'll probably be harder to see because they have all these comments. For server name, you just type in whatever name you want it to show up as. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. For server IP, you want to type in the IP address that you're hosting it from, the one that you port forwarded and all that. So that would be your current IP address. The IPv4 right here. So mine is 192.168.1.145. And that's right there. Now your server port, it should already be set to 22003. Uh, don't change that unless you know what you're doing and you're port forwarding a different port, which is still UDP. If I were you, I just wouldn't change it. And um, for max players, this is kind of optional. The more the higher you set this, the slower your server is going to run. So if you know your computer can't handle a lot, and you know the server might crash if you do a lot, then I would set this lower. Like, the default value is 32. I set mine to 12, because it's not going to be a huge server. It's mostly personal. So I just left it at 12. Um, HTTP server set to 1. I would not change that. Um, HTTP port is 22005. I would not change that. And the rest is basically blank except for a couple here and there. But those should already be set to default and I would not change it at all. So once you do that, just click on save and close it. Uh, now you want to go into, if I can find it, I think it's editor. Now it's ACL. You want to look under acl.xml, right click it, and click open with notepad again, and scroll all the way to the top. This is an XML file, so go to language and click XML. And um, this is your grouping. Now if you want to become an admin, what you have to do is type in under the group name equals admin. Um, I'm just going to make a new one just to show you. Uh, under group name equals admin it has to be under here you want to make these two uh, angle brackets and type in object name equals uh, two two uh, quotation marks user dot and then whatever your username is going to be it doesn't have to be current yet it just has to be a username um, my friend is going to be playing on here so I'm just gonna put his username in here although he hasn't made his user yet it's Matt now um, after you do that first part you just type two angle brackets again forward slash object and that will close it now you can just click save and that will make you and whoever you added if you added anybody else that will make them an admin which means they can do basically anything on the server now now you will want to open up the server, double click on the host, the hoster, which is this under server, it's just the MTA server right here, and this will pop up, and everything will load up, and it'll say queuing MTA master server, dot dot dot, success, hopefully. Now to make sure it works, type in open ports, open ports, just like that, and hit enter, it'll say testing ports, and if all ports are open, then you're good. 
you're ready to run.